My name is Alyssa. And I'm Emily. And you're listening to Slash and Slay, a horror podcast. Welcome back to episode 75, season 4. Season 4, guys. We're officially starting a new season. We have been renewed for another season. We've been renewed. We've renewed ourselves. We've renewed ourselves. We don't care what you guys think. For another season. Ooh, grape ASMR. Alyssa's doing a little grape ASMR for you guys. You like 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 that? That's part of um, a new offering for this season. Squish, squish grapes. Are you very picky about your grapes? I am. Yeah, me too. If you get a super soft one, die. Ugh. Yeah, exactly. Gag. Quite literally gag. Quite literally. I love a good crunchy, crunchy grape. Crunchy, crunchy. Would you ever try a grape in the grocery store? You see people do that? I have. No. Mm-mm. I don't think I've ever done that in my life. No, I wouldn't. I feel like it's stealing. I feel like it's stealing and also like grapes... Like, not that I am a snob about washing your produce, but grapes are open. Like, they're literally open, and there's Someone holes. Could sneeze on them. Like, I see those employees, and mm-hmm. I see their hands, and I know. Grubby, grubby hands. Yeah, I know they're not handling the grapes with gloved hands. Yeah. But, anyway, enough talk about grapes. <laughs> enough grape talk. Enough grape talk. How's your day today? My day was busy. Busy gal. Busy, busy Monday girl. A busy Monday girl. But um, I made it through. How was your day? It was good. <laughs> was it good? Yeah. Um, today I was at the gym and I was on my last thing and I was like doing a plank and then the fire alarm went off. And In the gym? I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? And I was like, what could possibly be on fire Right. Here? At what time? Like five in the morning? It was like 6.30. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I was like, I was almost done anyway, and I was like, I'm going to stretch for 10 minutes, and then the alarms went off. Some people were, like, completely ignoring it, but I was like, well, in the event. Yeah. And so I, like, grabbed my bag and then walked out, and then it stopped. And I was like, pretended it does not hear that it stopped, and I left anyway, because <laughs> I was like, I'm done. I'm done for the day. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not going I'm back in. Yeah, so that's how my day started. Okay. Uh, then I worked. Yeah, I worked. And here you are. Here I am now. Comfy cozy girl. Yeah. It's been a crazy two weeks for me. Yeah. Um, did some traveling. Did some traveling. Did some traveling, mate. Um, not the fun kind of traveling. Yeah. Work work Travel. traveling. Um I feel like we haven't recorded in a long time, but it was like last week, right? Mm. Last Sunday? Yeah, last Sunday, right? Yeah. So just like a week ago? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much a week ago. It's just, I feel like the week has gone by slow, but it's like fast, but slow. You know what I mean? I hate that. Like I was, when I left for the trip, I was like, oh my gosh, okay. Only three days. Like it's just three days and I'll be home. And I felt like it was going like bam, bam, bam. Mm-hmm. But still I was like, oh my gosh, how much longer is this trip? Yeah. Like still at the same time. So it's so it's such a weird thing. Time is so strange. We were just saying that time. Time is strange. Time is a, just a concept. A stupid one, if you but ask me. We're all in, indebted to it. We're all slaves to time. Can't escape it. Um. Anyways, should we say <laughs> what we're talking about and then do slash and slays or? Well, I've never done this show before, so I don't know what we do. <laughs> How do we do this? <laughs> How do we do this? They read the title. Yeah. Okay. So I, they know. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure they can read. So. Hey, guys, do you know? Guys, can if you, you if you have not read the title, just look at your phone. It's All right. Not that hard. All right. Now you're done. Okay. okay. So now so we you can know do know what slash it's about. Now we can slash and slay. Okay. Do you have any slash and slays? I feel like I do because, but I can't think of. Oh, wait. It still smells like tea. Sorry. Earl Grey. Earl Grey tea. Um, I, r- I started an audiobook called Heads Will Roll by Josh Waller. Okay. Is that 
right? How am I supposed to know? Like, you looked at me like you were, you knew. I was like, <laughs> I'm just taking. <laughs> I'm just like yeah. looking for raptured and raptured by you. <laughs> You're just so enraptured by my beauty. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's his name. Okay. I hope it is. I haven't finished it yet. Um, it's basically like about this girl who's like an actress uh, who was on this like really popular Netflix show. And then uh, she like tweeted some things. We don't know what she, I don't know what she tweeted. She canceled. Yet. And she gets canceled. Mm. And so she goes to this like camp called Camp Castaway. And it's like people just go there to like escape technology. Mm hmm. And there's like a killer. Mm. It's like a it's like a slasher, kind of a slasher sort of thing, but like a different vibe because it's like clearly all you're kind of finding out all these people are actually actors or all have been in the spotlight in one way or another. You love just getting a group together and watching them die one I by one. I absolutely love it. Except for that one book that you read that was like that, The Influencers on the Island. Very similar. It's called The, the Island. Yes. And you didn't like that one. Freaking horrible. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so I can't really slash and slay it yet because I don't, I haven't finished it. You finished the husbands though. I did finish the husbands. I slay it, of course, because I love Chandler Baker. Mm-hmm. Um, it, but it was a very conflicting book for me. It, it's hard. Like it. It introduces new thoughts that I, like, did not really think of as a woman before. Like, I don't know. Like, my sister was reading it, too. Mm -hmm. And she was like, I just don't understand, like, why she's complaining about everything. Because, like, why doesn't she just tell him? And I'm like, okay, but who tells her? Right. Nobody. Exactly. So you should just Exactly. And it would just, like, it it would bring up concepts of that. Like, it pisses me off. And she would bring it up in the smallest ways of ways I've never even thought about it before. Like, I don't think anything of being like hey blah 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 yeah I then i was like wait why do i have to say why that? am i the one that has to say that and it pissed me off because that's been forever yeah women have to bear the emotional uh brunt the emotional uh what's called the emotional load on top of everything else that a man has to do yeah and also like you know if we were hunter gatherers mm-hmm. sure but we are doing all the stuff that the women had to do then, and they're not doing any of the physical stuff. So yeah. what's the point? Like, there's no physical stuff for them to right. do to be different people. I understand that women and men's brains work very differently a lot of the time, but we've had to adapt. So come on, get it together. Right. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. I'm not babying you anymore. And it's just like, just with the kids and like she was. Didn't it make you want to like? Just grab your uterus yes, and rip and it out. Shove it, up. <laughs> shove it back up my throat. Yes, for real. Um, like she was like she was pregnant and like I kept forgetting. It. I was like, and she kept pregnant. she kept forgetting she was pregnant. Yes. She was like, oh, yeah, I feel bad. I haven't like, but she's pregnant and she's being forced to do for all this stuff. And then her husband just it's that weaponized incompetence. Like her husband's just like you like you're you didn't tell me you're like you. I'll do better. And then he doesn't. And it's like. He's like, oh, I'll do better. And she's like, I really know. shouldn't feel. I really shouldn't feel this way about it. But it's like, it's okay that you do. Because you literally are taking on everything. Yeah, literally. It's. It, it made me so mad. <laughs> but it was still good. It was good. Did you guess? the? I mean, there's not really even like anything to really guess. Yeah, it's not really. It's just watching her uncover it, I yeah, guess. Yeah, it's really not necessarily necessarily a mystery because you know that you know that the ladies did it like yeah i feel like there's really no there isn't like tension in that way no it's just of her finding out and it made me so mad i was like she finally has friends like I mom know. friends and then yeah but come on like come on. one or two deaths for the good of <laughs> all womankind right who cares? Who cares? <laughs> Sometimes therapy gonna lead to some deaths. <laughs> you know you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's the goal. Of therapy. Right? <laughs> now you need to read um Whisper The Whisper Network. Network. Yeah. I do have that uh audiobook downloaded, so Yeah. Really good. I don't know if it's like as I guess it is relatable. I mean, I'm not a mother. 
and I don't have a husband. So, like, the husband still infuriated me. See, I'm not a mother either. Mm -hmm. And my husband, so far, has been very good. Mm -hmm. Good boy. For the most part. (laughs) He's been a good boy. He's been a good boy. (laughs) And if you're listening to this, you Mm -hmm. better keep being a good boy. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But it still, like, makes you so upset for women. (laughs) Women everywhere. Yeah, I mean... I don't feel like my mom really had to. My mom did a lot, but Mm -hmm. my dad helped a lot. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I think my dad is definitely the, like, this is just him, like, his personality, though, which is not an excuse, but Mm -hmm. I feel like it's this way in work, too. Like, if you don't tell him, he's never going to even think. Yeah. Which is, like... He's just a very empty-headed kind of guy. And, like, I mean it in an endearing way, you <laughs> yeah. know? Like, but, but it I, is still so frustrating. Honestly, like, I can be that way, too. Yeah. That's why, I don't know. Because, like, I don't think of things. That's why, to me, for, like, one of us, at one point, like, we'll, we have to step up. Like, either one mm-hmm. of us will step up or I'll step up or he'll step up. And, like, handle something. Yeah, because it really won't get done. If, we, if we're if we just trying to pass it off onto each other, like, it won't get done. No, yeah. Because we won't do it. Yeah. I mean, that's like whenever I had roommates, like, I just had to pay all the bills. I just had to do it. Because yeah. that is the only way it would have gotten done. Which is insane. Because I'm like, what would you do if I wasn't here? Yeah. Like, I don't mean it in that way. I just mean, like, I'm so curious I guess they would, what you would have done. If one person would have stepped up, maybe? I don't know. Like, somebody has to do it. Yeah. And I guess I fold first every time. Yeah. You know? Well, for money stuff, I well, there's low-key a control thing. Like, I would want to be like, I want to make sure that this happens. Oh, yeah. After the first time, and mm-hmm. I was like, okay, all right. You know, then I was like, I got it. I got it, guys. I got it. Yeah. You know? So, and with bill, like, you know, calling the, every bill. I was like, I got it. Don't worry. You know, cause oh, like at that calling. point, then it's only me. The nice thing is Jared doesn't mind calling like people in places. Weird. And I hate it. So me too. it's kind of nice. Even if it takes like two seconds. I'm like, oh yeah. my God. It's, I dread it. I put it off, put it off for years, like years. I literally think I need oh. to call out. <gasps> That's what I was going to tell you, talk to you about today, too. What? I didn't even text you about it. Planet Fitness was trending on Twitter or X or whatever. And I was like, mm-hmm. why? What's going on? And apparently there's a law that they proposed today for, um, like, specifically for, like, gym memberships and things like that. That, um, and, like, banks, that you can cancel your memberships or your credit cards, like, just, like, easy. Like, click uh-huh. click of a button instead of having to... Go and, every, go and everybody was like tagging thing. Planet Fitness, being like, "I've never been able to cancel." Yeah. Like, blah, blah 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 blah. And I was like, "That's with crunch." <laughs> Literally for a year. Literally. How long had you? Did you have it for? Uh, I don't even want to say. <laughs> Several years. Two. Yeah. Oh my god, I have it for four years. I'm gonna say it was like a long. <laughs> say okay, I used it. I got it in 2020. Okay, yeah, there you go. I used it a lot up until the pandemic, mm-hmm. and then. It was put on pause and then it started up again. I was like, and I used it a few more times. And then I might have used it in t- 2021. I might have used it once or twice. Mm-hmm. And then finally. Last two years, not a bit. Not no. one time. I drove by every day and was like, <sighs> every day I'd be like, you know, freaking cancel that. It's so. But it meant I would have to go in. It like, it feels like crossing the sahara like yeah. to do that which it it shouldn't be that hard mm-hmm. it shouldn't and finally and i didn't tell my husband this but because like there's like a yearly membership mm-hmm. and then there's the monthly after that of course i missed the monthly so i had to pay for them yearly yearly mm-hmm. i was like whatever i was literally like whatever Get me out of here. Charge me whatever the fuck you want. I don't get care. Get me out of here. And it's good because they now went up in price. 
because of their remodel. Yeah, anyway. yeah, right. Their million dollar remodel. You couldn't pay me a million dollars to step foot in that place. Yeah, no, I hate that place. It's the worst. Crunch, we hate you. It's my they purgatory. They can never make me like you, Crunch. No, no, literally never. It is my purgatory. Um, any um, more slash and size? I don't have any more. Do you? I do. I do have some slash and size. First one is not a horror movie, mm-hmm. but we were just talking about the poor womanhood and the abuse of men and everything. Yes. Um, and I watched five easy pieces with Jack Nicholson Mm -hmm. and he plays this like cosplaying as poor, um, guy who is the worst person, like the worst within 10 minutes. He already has this gorgeous, beautiful girlfriend crying and he's like, you know, going all over to other women and he's like oh he's just like woe is me woe is me and hates her but still strings her along and it drove me crazy and when the movie stopped i just like <laughs> and like just started sobbing because i was like this has been going on for so oh my long God. Was it i like just s- want the women to be happy was it supposed to be in his favor no okay i mean i think like you know if you're a man watching it, you might see it from like a man, what a pathetic guy. But for me, I was just like, look at all these women's yeah. lives. He's like ruining. Yeah. Because he has like his girlfriend and then he goes off with this other girl. Like not that she really cared. She was more like a one night stand or whatever. And then you see his like relationship with his sister and what he does to her. And like his, he tries to steal his, brother's girlfriend and like gets her to try to run away with him and like all this stuff and i'm like jack nicholson like you're the worst person (laughs) like you're awful and then there's this one scene where he goes to a diner Mm -hmm. and the lady's like he's like i want an omelet with no tomatoes blah 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 blah, and toast and the lady's like no substitutions that's what it says on the menu and he's like fine they get me the chicken salad and sandwich and don't put the chicken salad on it i just want the toast and like making his whole way around it and she was like she he called her like a bitch or something like said something so mean and she was like i had the right to refuse service and he just goes and like throws all the glasses and everything oh all gosh. over the lady and everything literally like a male karen yeah and then i was watching the commentary after it and they're like yeah that really happened jack nicholson really did that to this lady and like the director's like yeah i get pissed all the time when waitresses do that to me and i was like oh damn so y'all actually oh, so you're actually a so you dick actually in real life. are the okay. worst yeah so pissed me off mm. um horror um horror horror i also watched i mean read um gray after dark by noel I can't say her last name. It's like I L H A or something like Ela something. Ela? Yeah, something like that. Um, and it's based off of a true story. Mm-hmm. It's about this Olympic biathlon um, competitor athlete. Mm-hmm. Um, and a biathlon is apparently like you ski and shoot. Oh, something like that. It's, it was interesting. I never heard of it. Heard about it. Um. She's like 25. She's on her own. Her mom passed away. We don't know how yet. And she's like grieving. And her teammates, her best friend. It's a boy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, it's like a friend still lover. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway. So she's, it's an off season and the Olympics are coming up and she's like, this is my last chance to go to the Olympics. So she has all this riding and she's like, I'm going to start training. And so she's like, let me get this job at this, um, like resort in the middle of nowhere with no reception. Of course. Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? And I'm going to train like whenever I can. Mm-hmm. So she's like running, whatever. And everyone's like, don't go into those woods. Like this lady or this girl was a, um, a counselor here. And she went missing a bear attack. Like a bear mm-hmm. came and we found her, her clothes bloodied and like ripped up. And so don't go in there with, with, you know, without a bear spray. And she's like, there's no bears in this, w- these woods. Like it's, there's no bears here. She's like, whatever. 
So one day she goes running and it's literally bear or man. Like mm. these two men come out of the woods and take her. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm already scared. They are doomsday preppers <gasps> and they take her. And literally at the end of one of the chapters, she says, I was wishing that there, like, so there was I would rather have a bear here than these two men. And this was like before that question, yeah. like this pu- was published before that. And uh-huh. I was literally like, oh my God. Like I had chills when I read that. And it's based on true story too. Yes. Yeah, so the true story is a little different. Um, but basically they take her in the, in this one, they take her back to their like doomsday. Like the, uh-huh. it, this forest is like millions of miles. Yeah. Like, there's no, no way to find her. I'm gonna no read spoilers, it. no spoilers. Yeah, okay. no spoilers. But they take her away. In the real life story, they tell it a little bit differently or whatever, but she's... I can't remember if she's... I don't think she's actually taken. I think they just, like, beat her up and leave her for dead, and then oh. she has to find her way back. But now she's, like, inspirational speaker and yeah. things like that. But, no, it is so good. And I'm so excited to read her next one, which is called call me Andrea I think or Mm -hmm. ask for Andrea and it's about these three women who were all killed by the same guy and they're ghosts and they're gonna try to work together to like stop uh, him so it's like kind of like lovely bones kind of like yeah uh, um black phone a little bit Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so I was like like really excited for that um my last and I I definitely slay like slay 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 I kept putting off this one scene because I was like this is gonna be a hard scene to read I really don't want to read it like I just kept putting it off and then I was like okay I only have 80% left like I have to read this thing so I went to the gym and I was like because <laughs> I knew I couldn't lose it in Uh-oh. public so yeah. I was just like crying and like walking casually at the oh, gym gosh. reading it but anyway um I just started today I have about like 30 more minutes of it uh-huh. it was only like 10 hours so me and my two time speed um it's called You'd Look Better as a Ghost. Mm-hmm. And it's about this girl who's a serial killer. And it's from her perspective. Oh. And her dad just died of dementia. And so she goes to this grief counseling, like, group. And then um, her, like, secret starts kind of getting out that she's a serial killer. Mm. And it's set in England. So they're, like, British. Yeah. And, like, it's, like, more like a comedy, fun, right. thriller thing. It's so. like a fun little yeah. serial killer book. Unless something weird happens in the next 30 minutes of my audio of the right. audiobook, then I'm going to slay like, it. Yeah, I'm going to slay it pretty much. Okay. Yeah, that's mine. Um, now, what about The Inmate? Oh, yeah. By Freedom. We didn't McFadden. talk about we that. We didn't really talk about it. <sighs> the Inmate. I can't remember. Did you slash it or slay it? I slayed it because, like, I know your qualms with it. Uh Uh-huh. Absolutely. Okay. But to me, it kept me, like, I was, like, I, like, I kept wondering. I was, like, oh, it's this, it's this, it's this. I kept. Yeah. And I didn't guess what it was until, you know. I did not guess either. I just really couldn't stand her. I, okay, I remember telling you about this a while back after I read it. Because I knew you were going to read it, so I didn't spoil it then. But, mm-hmm. like, when she's just like, I didn't really want to sleep with him, but I just did. Like, I was like, girl, get up. That made me sick. It made me so sick. I was like, she's like, he hasn't, I mean, he's been in prison for 10 years and it's my fault. So, like. I might as well put I out. might as well, like, yeah. sleep with him. Like, What? I hated that. I just don't understand her because she kept being like, he's really creepy, but it's Tim. I've loved him forever. He (laughs) wouldn't do anything. And he's like, can I trust him? I don't know. I would never not trust him. He's Tim. Like in the same sentence would be so sure about things. She was, poor girly pop was very confused. She was very confused, but also very certain. (laughs) She was confused. She was certain that she was confused. Yeah. (laughs) She was like, that's for sure. I don't, I don't know if I can trust him. This guy literally tried to kill me, but. But am I right? Did I really smell this thing? And then it was like, After oh. After 10 and then it years? Was like, oh, they're working together. They were working to get, when she came to that conclusion. Oh, they were working together. That made zero sense to me. I was like, zero if sense. that's the truth, 
that's so stupid. But then every single time she'd come to a conclusion, she was like, how did I not see it before? <laughs> I'm like, because it's not right. <laughs> like, because you're an idiot. Like, that's not correct. That's why. That's why you didn't see it before. Yeah. And her, like, dumb. um, did you listen to the audiobook or read it? I read it. The audiobook was so funny because they would be like, her dialogue was the same as she was when she was 15 as when she was whatever. Uh-huh. Or was she like 16? She yeah. was 26. It would literally be like, oh my gosh, he's so dreamy. And then the voice would just be like, oh my gosh, he's so dreamy. Like that would be the only difference. <laughs> yeah. Like barely any difference. Little. And would be like, he's so sexy. Like that was her, the only difference. She'd be like, he's so sexy. <laughs> and then as an adult, he, she, she was like, he is very handsome. <laughs> You're like, okay. <laughs> You're still the same person with yeah. a interesting child. Yeah. The ending, I was like, the, okay. Oh, yeah, the ending. The- <laughs> I was like, we could have done without it. We could have done right. without that one. We could have just, that could have, I don't know. I just feel like it was supposed to be like a, like a mm. cheap, like, mm. he yeah, killed hum. his dad because Tim said Spooky. he was bad. Yeah. Like, what? Also, Tim. Also, a weird thing for you to say. Tim was weird. I didn't try. I did not like Tim from the beginning. He's very, he was just very, have, like, predatorial. Yes, of, he was. See, like, I would have 100% thought he did it if it wasn't for, like, him try, like, trying to choke her, I guess. Yeah. And also the fact that, like, they tried to throw you off and be like, he did it on purpose. He found the snowflake necklace to trigger her and wore the sandal which trigger yeah. her or whatever but it was really the grandma being like he yeah. and i was like there's no way he would have forgotten that yeah and he just so happened to be like oh, i'm sorry i didn't even realize that it's the same exact necklace mm-hmm. i don't know it was so interesting it was interesting it was very interesting yeah um i thought it was i thought i had it figured out i thought it was yeah you know the freak freaky guard guy who kind of yes. like hit on her i was like it's him mm-hmm. it's him and he even did it back then he like snuck in the house i would have like, rather everything. it been him i <laughs> thought it was him and then it was like he and got then killed it was, like, he literally got killed <laughs> yeah she heard the how did she not know that someone had taken her car and how was he not afraid she would wake up i know and be like you took my car and also they were horrible like, for somebody who was completely unrecognizable, like, put on such a costume or whatever, like, mm-hmm. the grandma, and then put the keys on the wrong. Right. Like, okay. Interesting. Yeah. Um, uh, what else was... Oh, and the body in the basement of Tim's house? Why mm-hmm. was he being so suspicious? I know. He was being so suspicious. Yeah. Like, that when they were night. like do you mind if we look in your basement sir and he's like uh he's like no you can't like, go down no. to my basement i'd be like yeah please like go like, yes, right this go. way i haven't been in there like, i don't what is that <laughs> and how do you accidentally get locked in the basement i don't know it was like there were too many things i think for it trying to be like oh it's this oh it's this yeah they can be like too much of here, like coincidences yeah but um whatever but it still kept me it still kept me going also i hated that tim was so pissed at her at the end for like like what is she supposed to think right there's There's a a body in your body in your basement if that had been any other man you would have been like yeah good job like even though he's innocent and he only had to go to prison for one month you're fine yeah but, oh, so, I mean, and he was they, like, they I, ended up together, I don't right? hate you. Yeah. But he was like, I don't want to talk to you. Yeah. And, he's like, I and the mom's you. like pissed too. Yeah. I'm like, like hello, why? I just went through this traumatic thing and I was almost killed again by the same freaking man and I woman. I shot someone. Someone tried to shoot me. Also, how was he like such a sweet boyfriend that whole time when they were kids? Not Tim, the... I know. I was like... Face? Just and because there was no inkling that he was gonna kill you, I don't know. No, and they like literally just like lost their virginities to each other. Yeah, too. allegedly. Maybe he was lying. Oh, he probably was. But also, what a strange plot. I know it really was strange. Strange. So do you slash it or do you slay it? Um, I think I'm gonna have to. I think I'm gonna have to. 
slash it. Sorry. That's to okay. Disappoint. No disappointment. Um, I I'm am excited to try it, her though. other ones. Yeah. I'm going to try some of her other ones. I think yeah. it was just the main character was mostly my issue. Because usually I can get around unreliable side characters. Mm-hmm. But. And even unreliable narrator, I don't mind. But if you're just like, who, I don't know. The whole time. Yeah. And like, yeah, I'll take this job. Why, why I would you still do don't that? understand why she moved back. Like, still makes no sense to me because her parents if died. she would have just been like money, that uh-huh. would have been fine. But she's like, my kid got bullied. Okay, put him in a different school. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Could have stayed. Could have been fine. Yeah. Whatever. Anyway, anyway. Now on to the main event. On to the main event. The concert of the. Get it? The I concert. Get it. Wink, wink. The concert of the. Evening. Evening. We went and saw the movie Trap. Together. Together. It was so fun. We had a double date. Double date. And it was lovely. And the last time we had a double date was with a night slash movie. (laughs) (laughs) Knock at the cabin. Knock at the cabin. Was that even a double date? Because like, it was, Well, I think it was so many people. (laughs) Well, I guess it was only... It was me and my posse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's like true. Quite was, a few people. Was it Allison, you, Bryson, his friend? Tyler, yeah. Tyler, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, and we didn't even sit next to each other. Because I think Allison. I don't think. Allison's yeah, I think Allison's out between us. Between us. So. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we saw Trap, we saw the Trap. highly anticipated M. Night Shyamalan movie of the year. I feel like he comes out with one every year. I think so. Mm-hmm. This one's not based off of anything. Mm-mm. An original well, story. It is actually based off. This is based off real events. Okay. Okay. They really did do this. Really? They really did really? do this. I did not know about Really that. did. They do this. Really did they do this. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. First, like, what are your, like, initial thoughts about it? Initial thoughts were where um, I don't know if. Like, this is the problem with having, like, such a gimmick. Uh, not even gimmick, but, like, M. Night Shyamalan is known for his twists. Right. You know, like, the twists are... W- and so the whole time, I'm like, I'm not going to believe anything I'm seeing. Yeah. I'm not going to believe a single thing I'm seeing because I'm like, there's going to be a twist. Mm-hmm. And so I don't know if that took it out. So it's trying to guess what the twist was. The yeah, time. exactly. Which so I guess is, like, in a way... It's still fun, but... But then there wasn't a twist. Yes, this is heavily really. heavy spoilers. Heavy yeah. spoiler, heavy spoilers. Um, and then I was just like, "Oh, this is just Dexter." Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Pretty, pretty much, much. Dexter. Um, I do have to say that I did enjoy the dialogue, and I enjoyed all of like the weird. Net, like everybody doesn't talk like a real person. Yeah, no. Which was like it was very like scripted, which it is, but like. Sounded scripted. Yeah, which I kind of was like, um, that's kind of an interesting thing to do. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, it was obviously intentional. Like, I don't think he was trying to make it super believable. He was trying to be like, isn't this crazy? Like, yeah. Isn't this wild? Isn't this wild? Well, this well here. Crazy? Let me tell you about, um, while the plot may sound outlandish, it says, it's partially based on a true story. Shyamalan shared that Trap took inspiration from the real life Operation Flagship. Mm. Um, he heard about it when he was a kid and thought it was totally absurdist that it, this actually happens. Um, uh, so this happened in December 1985. Sting operation organized with United States Marshals and Washington, D.C. Metropolitan Police tricked more than 100 wanted fugitives into going to the Washington Convention Center. Center under I've heard about this. Actually, under the guise of having won free tickets to a Washington Redskins, <laughs> or now Washington Commanders uh-huh. game, against the Cincinnati Bengals, as well as a chance to win tickets to the 1986 Super Bowl. It was said to be a part of a special event celebrating the inauguration of a new DC sports TV network called Flagship International Sports. To collect their tickets, the winners were told to show up at a brunch a few hours before the game. (laughs) Upon arrival, the fugitives were split into small groups and taken into party rooms with snacks and posters that read, Let's Party. 
That was awesome. Marshals and police officers posed as event staffers with female officers dressed as cheerleaders hugging mm. the guests to check for weapons. The men were also given balloons, categorizing them by color. Violent criminals received red balloons. Nice. Louis McKinney, the chief of enforcement operations for the U.S. Marshal, pretended to be the MC, giving a speech to the attendees <laughs> to receive what a prize. As soon as McKinney said he had a big surprise, marshals entered the room to arrest the delinquents. Dang. <laughs> repeating the same process with each group. It became one of the most successful mass arrests of fugitives in American history. Did they really have to do all of that? <laughs> they could have just been like, hey. As soon as they really went the door, all out. They're they really like, like cheerleaders. Like, let's give a balloon. I know it Ooh, sounds. Ooh, I have like a great idea. Posters. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, add it to the list. Let's party. Our tax po- our tax dollars. I wasn't alive then. They're so like, yeah, those saying. tax dollars. <laughs> balloons. <laughs> balloons. We have extra. Go ahead. Red and do ones. Balloons. Red ones. Violent criminals. Red ones are the violent criminals. Watch for them. Blue ones are drug related. <laughs> Watch out, guys. <laughs> Green ones. The pedos. Eek. Um, that's crazy. Down. Yeah. So, based Truly on true, true events. What if you were ish. late and you're like, "Sorry, guys, I'm late." Sorry, and then you're and like, then you show up, back up. You're like, I mean, I don't know what this is. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm late for the game. Not just sounded like the police really wanted to like party, put on a show. Like they're like mm, the, theater. the theater kid, <laughs> police officer. <laughs> the, he was the MC. Raise your hand if you MC. were a failed theater kid, <laughs> and he's like me. <laughs> Can I MC you? Today's a day. Tap dancing? Was there <laughs> tap dancing? I need to know. I hope so. <laughs> um, that sounds so fun. I kind of wish the movie was that now. It was more closely related to that. <laughs> I know. Well, see, okay. One of the twists I thought it was going to be was that he wasn't the actual serial killer. Like, he was a serial killer, but he wasn't the one that they were there for. And he thought they were there for him. And during my wildest things, I was like, oh, the little girl's a serial killer. Yes. He's, <laughs> and he's covering for this 10-year-old girl who's obsessed with this singer and is, like, going to kill people. Yeah, I thought I thought the family, like, I thought the whole family, like, I was because waiting the family's for weird. some intense shift. I thought the whole family was going to be in on it, even the little boy. I thought he was going to be, like, the one, the stabber or something, like. Bro, didn't it say a word? No. Little boy literally had no purpose. They should have just had them be an only child. Like, yeah. No. Make more sense. Um, um, overall, though, I did have fun. thought it was good. Um, I thought his daughter was not the best actress. But also, the way other people were acting, it was like, okay, it still fit. Yeah. It wasn't completely like... Uh-huh out of it because i think everybody else was acting differently yeah than they might normally do right um i do have to say something but i'm very embarrassed about it okay okay this is a safe place space i don't know how safe it'll be after this Uh oh you know the main guy yes josh hartnett Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just keep in mind what i was allowed to watch as a child okay? okay very little when we got in the car, I was like, I'm so dumb. Because I thought, or I kept being like, where do I know that guy? Where do I know that guy? And then I was like, duh, I Carly. <laughs> I, thought it, I thought it was Spencer from my Carly <laughs> for like half the movie. <laughs> and then whenever the one guy was named Spencer, I was like, oh, they're doing a little to like Carly. <laughs> you know you thought like that? Him? No. You thought he was Jerry Trainer. How am I supposed to know his name? I never watched like Carly. I didn't either. <laughs> Josh Hartnett. He's a classic horror my movie Carly. actor. Carly. From my Carly. No. <laughs> I thought it was Spencer. Not like Carly. He's from Halloween. Uh, H2O. <laughs> no, not H2O. Halloween. The witch's one. No. The Season one, of the witch. The one where... Jamie Lee Curtis. He's at college. He's like Jamie Lee Curtis's son. Might be H two O. Spencer for my Carly. <sighs> I mean, uh, Thirty Days of Night. Like he is. I know he was in Oppenheimer. Faculty. Oh, you saw that. Oh yeah, faculty. Faculty. Are you kidding? You don't see that he looks like him. <sighs> no. There is a very uncanny resemblance. I don't think so because I think. I just don't think so. I think you're wrong. Lucky number 11. 11? Sin City, Wicker Park, 
Oh, that's not a horror movie. But. <laughs> it looks like him. Y'all are tripping. It does not. Are you kidding me? Look at that. That looks like him. Maybe like a lot. Maybe don't like, even say a little. Say a lot. Maybe like a cousin. Look at that. They're twins. No, no, that no. That face. No. no, no, no. I was like, man. Maybe he because looks- I saw. I remember him yet when he was younger, and they don't look anything alike. Maybe they look a little bit more like now that he's older. Okay. But well, I was like, oh, he filled out. He looks good. <laughs> I can't believe this whole time you thought it was him. Not the whole time. Half the time. And then I was like, I'm so smart for my Carly, but I can never admit that I didn't realize it. But then I made it. I was like, mm, I Carly. And then. You said that? Yeah. So you told Bryce? Mm-hmm. And he was like. He's like, are, are you kidding me? <laughs> Did he make fun of you? Yes. <laughs> And then I I stood the whole rest of the car ride with my head like this, like facing away, because I was so embarrassed. Did you cry? <laughs> a little bit. A little tear escaped. Yeah, because I was like, I'm so dumb. <laughs> I thought it was Spencer. And then when they named the guy Spencer, what was I supposed like, to think? I Because it had no relation. So, I don't, nothing. You're not supposed to think anything. I they were like, Spencer. Wink. Wink, wink, I Carly. <laughs> yes! What? What do you mean? What were you supposed to think? Literally, there was no relation. That they looked alike, <laughs> and his and the, uh, somebody else in the movie's name Spencer. No. My favorite part of the movie is when he Scooby Doo grabs him from the van, <laughs> and his legs go flying like a we puppet. Do everyone in the theater laughed. We all laughed. laughed. Everyone laughed, which I was like, rightfully. Y'all so. get the vibe. Yeah. Rightfully so. It was kind of a packed house. It kind of was. And there's some old people. I was like, yeah. yeah. It's like, and I did not feel like I was, we were all going to die in this theater. So yeah. that's good. Was it the same one? I think so. Yeah. So yeah. it's just that one time. What do you think about it? Um, I was entertained. Mm-hmm. Like you said, I was waiting for a twist the whole time. I was like anticipating. I was thinking. And twistipating, if you will. And twistipating, as you said. Mm-hmm. We thought maybe at the end it would actually be Taylor Swift the whole time. I was hoping. And then she'd announce Reb TV. Yeah. <laughs> I should tell my mom that and then it'll make her watch it. <laughs> I'd be it. like, there might be a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. It's a trap. Um, I did think it was interesting how in some ways, like, so from the beginning, obviously from, there's no way you can go into this movie not knowing that Josh Hartnett is a serial killer. Spencer. <laughs> but... You do kind of go in, like, in a weird way, rooting for him. Yeah. Like... Same way you root for Dexter. Right. You want him to escape. You want him to get through, like, all of his little tricks that he plays. You're like, dang, he's smart. Like, oh, he's like, you know... You want him to vex the randomly British old, like, in her 90s FBI Yeah, like, why lady. are you here? She's so old. Um, And he's, like, successfully doing it, and you're like, woohoo... And, but then once he's out, I guess maybe it's probably because it switches from his point of view to the main singer's point of view. And you have her in a trap. And then you have her. So that's probably why it does a good job of like. It is really good at doing trans- that. Transporting your, uh, who you're rooting for. Yeah, very well. And Which then, also, like, I did not realize that she was going to be in it so much. I didn't either. I thought she was going to sing. Just be the con. Like, and be like, bye. Yeah. So, and then from her, once she kind of escapes the trap, then it kind of transports onto the wife. Mm-hmm. So we're seeing from her point of view. So then you stop. You're like, oh, I want him to be caught, you know? Yeah. As soon as they leave the concert hall, you want, you want him to be caught. I guess it's because it's like he's kind of scot free you know yeah. once he leaves and there's yeah it was very like anxiety inducing you know at times but mostly just because you were like oh my gosh he's like he needs to get out like he needs to find a mm-hmm. do this or whatever and then he gets stopped by like some random lady or yeah you know like yeah, that was, he pretended to be an employee and like He's so charismatic and charming he like is, you yeah, just he's just like walking past like he's literally goes the part though when he was like just went <laughs> when he went into the break room where to all get the, coffee? the SWAT team was and he was just standing back there listening as they were talking describing him yeah and he's like he's just like they might as well have been like wearing a tan jacket yeah. like, and he's like excuse me like, I'm gonna go get coffee yeah 
he like, doesn't listen even care. to the whole time. No one knows. Like, that, all those SWAT people didn't notice this random ass ma- man, the exact man you're describing, standing in the back. I think it's like a testament to how easily can blend in. people can be manipulated, too. Yeah. Like, especially if you know what people mm-hmm. want. If you're like a psychopath like that. Yeah, true. Even like the book I'm reading, she's like, this is how I reacted because I see other people react like this, yeah. you know, which mm-hmm. is bleh, that makes me sick to think about. There's people in this world that are like mm-hmm. you walk by that, literally. that are acting like that and they don't like I understand, like, especially like people that have autism and they need to mask to fit in society and things like that. But then there's also the complete like crazy side where it's like they mask because they don't you know like certain people with autism like mask because they want to have this similar emotional connection that mm-hmm. other people have but these people don't care they just want to like be they want to they want to do whatever manipulate. they want yeah they want to manipulate and get what they want and then they want to kill you and then they want to kill you and it's just so scary like literally they were like he, he is going to try he is gonna the only thing he wants to do is get backstage guys yeah no matter what, do not let a tall white man with brown hair backstage. And then they're like, this guy, though, he's fine. Yeah, let he's got back. his daughter. It's like, let a, he's, on, he's on me, guys. Yeah, this one's fine. He's, he's cool with me. Oh, my gosh. And then when he goes to, um, what's her name, Moon some Star, Raven, Purple Raven, Night yeah, Raven. Lady Raven. Lady Raven. I was thinking about Raven from Teen Titans ago. <laughs> um, Lady Raven. And he's like, he knows he's caught, but then There's he no getting out. still like finds a way to be like, mm, yeah, manipulate. And he figures that out all in like two seconds, two seconds. Yeah. Cause he's constantly like, he's constantly looking for a, like a way out. Yeah. While also trying to be like this dad. There were so like, many times I'm like, he screwed us with it. I know. Same. How's, how's he going to get out of this one? And he does. And he every, does. Every single time. That's amazing. And it's always doing something, like, human. You right. know what I mean? Like, yeah. going to talk to this girl about his daughter's alleged leukemia. Mm-hmm. And then, like, you don't want this guy to die, do you? Like, yeah. you're going to have to... He's like, I believe you're looking for me. She's really smart, though, too. Yeah, she Like, is. she... The thought to take the girl's cell phone and then grab his phone. It's thought to go to the house. Life. Right. Which I definitely think, you know... You have to suspend your disbelief quite a bit in this one just because, yeah. like, there was so many cops there that were just, like, so obvious. Like, come with me. Like, right. I would have been like, whoa, you know, like, what's going on? Or um, if this, like, I mean, I would say she's the equivalent of, like, a popular, like, Olivia Rodrigo, maybe. Yeah. Maybe that level. Mm-hmm. Like, they're not going to just let her go right. in a limousine by herself to... Right. No. I mean, she had a driver, but that was it. And she he drove had, away. <laughs> yeah. She would have had bodyguards. Yeah. If had somebody. Like, you don't just let them go by themselves. Yeah. So strange. Um, and I feel like they still would have let... They still would have checked that guy, him. Oh, yeah. Like, she like, was it like... it doesn't matter. Like, you still have like, to... Sorry, you, we don't know who you are just because, you know... And I don't think, like, they listen to... Especially if, the, like, the whole point is that they're trying to find someone. Literally. And they're trying to, like, pull aside every man who falls under this certain category. And you... The one... You're, you're going to let one go by. Yeah. I did, like, at the end how they had uh, Spencer... Uh, From Mike Carlin? Yeah. <laughs> figuring out, oh, shit. This guy I literally helped. Yeah. And told everything. Told the code to... He was like, I'm never talking to anybody again. <laughs> yeah. That was so funny. He was that like, was that's so Cooper. Funny. My friend Cooper. <laughs> I helped him. <laughs> yeah, that was insane. But I don't know. I feel like the, I think I was satisfied with like the ending. Yeah. You know? Like, I'm like, okay. Yeah. Like, I'm satisfied. I think this was good. You know, there doesn't need to be a second one. Do you think there will be? No. I don't think he really does sequels besides, like, Split. And yeah, he really doesn't. I mean, it has... Glass. Unless he, can buy, unless he made him part of the Split and Glass <laughs> universe. Can he climb on walls, too? Maybe. Imagine. 
There's just something about serial killers that will always, like, astound me, boggle my mind, freak me out beyond no other. Yeah. Because that's just, like, insane, like, showing the cracks in our system, the cracks in our society, the... Mm -hmm. Especially when it's someone like that, like... And whenever they're like, oh, he was a lovely husband, I had no idea. That is sick. Yeah. It's like Dexter. <laughs> literally terrifying. See, I don't, is Dexter a good comparison? Because he literally kills people that, like, are disgusting humans. No. I mean, if you think about, like, he doesn't have those feelings. He only picks the bad people because his dad is like this is what you have to do like he would kill good people and he has yeah without remorse but yeah. he only does it so he doesn't disappoint his father because that's the only thing he okay. can really we'll see like. i only watch like uh parts of season one so yeah no i mean like that's his whole th- shtick but it's not because he's emotionally like he's like consciously yeah no it's basically like if that guy you know he had his mommy issues right if the mommy was like you can only kill bad people and so he was like okay i'll do it for you mommy yeah because that's where his issues are whatever. right but they always have mommy or daddy issues they always major do. ones it always stems from that well now i wonder if the girl she's gonna have daddy issues oh so yeah she's gonna be a killer maybe just do like you the think end it's hereditary not the movie the hereditary um, a, a like killing gene. psych, like a sociopathic tendencies. Yeah, I feel like it can be because like some of that is like completely biological, uh-huh. like neurological. But I do think like at the end of the day, it it's can stem on how you are raised. And mm-hmm. yeah, it is still a choice. I think. I mean, I don't know scientifically because I know it's like a compulsion. And I have plenty of compulsions and I'm like, well, right. I don't care to stop those, you know, I guess like it depends. I guess it depends like, you know, psychologically, if you're, if you can think, Hey, I'm going to check myself into this place. Cause I can't not kill people, not kill people <laughs> then. But what if you can't do that? Cause you don't even have that like wherewithal in your head. You don't know good or bad. Yeah. Yeah. That's, but he was like, he factually knew good and bad. Yeah. Right. And he still chose bad. Yeah. See, that's the thing. When they're masking like that, when they're like, yeah, being this whole other person, like you do know right from wrong. You do know this is wrong. Yeah. And so in that instance, I feel like you should be able to have the wherewithal to yeah get it fixed but i don't know he didn't care it's enough all, to it's all i think they also get cocky they know that they can get away with true. it and, you especially know. if they do get away with and it and they're always so like long. one more one more one more and it's always this is my last kill this yeah is my no, last kill. it's not probably not that's scary unless you get quiet unless you get quiet i was a serial killer i would <laughs> What would you do if you were a serial killer? I would kill it. I would only kill the bad guys. I would only kill people that abandoned their dogs on the highway. Mm. Hunt them down. Mm-hmm. Hunt them down. Um. Other than that, <laughs> also the other other thing I had a problem with was like this girl is like. I actually had a dream that night that I went to a Taylor Swift concert and I had front row tickets and I- that I fell asleep. On at, the front row. At the front row. I had a dream last night that I was in a Taylor Swift concert. I was... It was an interactive Taylor Swift concert. <gasps> where she was like... And I've had ah! several dreams about Taylor Swift concerts. But I'm always, like, meeting her in them. And, like... <laughs> I think you need to come with me to New Orleans. <laughs> I'm going to New Orleans. Yeah, that's true. Um, I... Anyways. That's crazy. That's it. <laughs> It was interactive. She kept, she, it was kind of like that. She would bring someone up for, uh, to drink a beer with her. <laughs> oh, nice. And her and Travi. Just her. And it was like a really small stage. It was weird. It was weird. Yeah. But I got chosen for <gasps> something, not for the beer. I wanted to get chosen for the beer, but I wasn't yeah. chosen for that. 
I chose them for something else. I don't know. Something lamer than that. Was weird. Weird. Anyway, sorry, what were you saying? I just had a dream that I, I fell asleep on the front row. Uh-huh. And I was so disappointed, like, so upset with myself for doing yeah. that. And then watching that little girl, like, when I went to the Taylor Swift concert, I did not sit on my butt for four hours. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I did not move from the seat. If I had to pee, it would not have happened. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, she's supposed to be the biggest fan. Like She kept she's leaving on, some multiple, she kept several leaving times. and talking to her dad and yep, 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 yep. Like, no, stay. This is your girl, you know? Yeah. Insane. And, of course, she got, like, I just feel bad, too, because I'm, like, now your idol is, like, tied to the worst day of your life, probably. And yeah. also, she had something to do with the bringing in your father. Yeah. And I wonder if, like. I need to see her therapist. Yeah. Ask her some questions. But maybe she's, like, now close to the pop star. Because it's, like, your dad tried to kill me. And Lady Raven. Yeah. She's really pretty. She looks like Olivia Rodrigo and She's Ariana gorgeous. Grande had the most beautiful baby. Mm-hmm. And they put little lashes on it. <laughs> <laughs> and they said, dance, girl, dance. Dance, monkey. The um, cinematographer said that they shot it to where um, you never see closer than like the actual character see from to to the stage so like if they were in that certain row that's how close you would see you would never see anything closer so if you notice there was never like really close-ups of her on the stage unless you could see and then like whenever it was um the daughter was on stage dancing it was always like from the back like her oh true and it was his pov or from the from the big screen or something. Yeah, but it would be like the like the little girls like seeing mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Not yeah. weird. I mean, it made it's it cool. It made it feel like you're like I'm in this. Yeah, that's cool. It's interesting like choices like that people mm-hmm. make. Because I wouldn't have thought, thought that thought of that. I've been like zoom in, baby. <laughs> zoom in. Let's get those close up yeah, dancing let me shots. Yeah, she's beautiful. <laughs> um, Shyamalan did make a little cameo. Of course. He always of course. does. He has to. It was so fun. He was the uncle. A random uncle that f- was also security that also worked on the floor and also like. Picked the dreamer girl. Picked the dreamer girl. Who just happened to be the one he went up to. Yeah. I want to know how they picked Taylor Swift's girl to get the, the hat. hat. I don't know. And it's always a little it? baby girl. Yeah. I've seen like a. I've seen a boy before. Like a. It was. Uh, I do know the guy who did the jewel dance with the little fingers yes he got he one. got it mm-hmm. yeah hello play shimmer i get to see her in how many days october 26th maybe i'll be in a trap <gasps> maybe they'll be i mean that <laughs> imagine would get my you. dad is a guy in a trap right <laughs> <laughs> or your mom I'd be like, when did you possibly have time to do <laughs> when this, did lady? You have time? I was like, Mom, you <laughs> love you, you lazy girl. <laughs> you would not <laughs> have cleaned that up. There's no way. Mm-mm. Well, maybe that's why, because she's busy doing yeah, it in her see. other mm. other life. Mm. You never know. What if you have a double life? I might. I you kinda sure? do. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. You have an alias and everything. Yeah. Mm. No one knows who I am. I feel like I live multiple lives. <laughs> I feel like I live <laughs> multiple lives. I live all the lives. Um, and we cannot escape time. The end. The end. Full circle. Circle of life. life. Do you think we should watch Smile 1 and 2? <laughs> I think we should wait until Smile 2 comes out. I do not want to go see it in theaters. No, I don't want to see it in theaters either. Smile 1 and Smear. Smile 1 and Smear, smear 2. Mm-hmm. Um, We've always said we'll never ever watch it. We but have. that would be like... That would be a good episode. Mm-hmm. I feel like we finally did it. Clickbait. Yeah. Not clickbait. Clickbait, not clickbait. Mm-hmm. Maybe we should. Let's think about it. Let's think on it. Okay. If someone can give us one good reason... Two good reasons, because we need one for one each of us. Two. 
And there's two movies. So Mm -hmm. two good reasons why we should watch Smile. We'll watch it. Consider it. (laughs) We'll consider. We'll consider it. Um, We do need to see. Is this your foot? What is this? This is your couch. Oh. (laughs) This is your leg. What do we need to see? Cuckoo, maybe? Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I haven't still not seen a preview for that. I think we should watch it, though. Hereditary. I mean, her heretic. Excuse me. Heretic. I feel like we gotta go see Speak No Evil. Oh. I think we gotta see it together. I know. Because we've seen the preview so many times. We just have to do it. What was I? Th- I was thinking about something about that movie. I was thinking about something about that movie. <laughs> I was thinking about something about that movie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't remember. And? Oh, I think it was just like how... Uh, there was something else. Emily was like, oh, that would definitely, you know, happen to me or whatever. Like, she would 100% go and mm-hmm. do that, whatever. Oh, that's it. There is in the um, the book that, I'm, that I read, the um, Gray After Dark, like the Doomsday Prepper. I was like, Emily, like, I love you with peace and love. But, like, I know that if I got dragged back to that house, like, you'd be there. And you'd be, like, willingly there <laughs> in that home. <laughs> like, with your chickens and, like, being like, hey like a new girl like what's that <laughs> and she was like i know and i was like like that portlandy episode where they all I got would. in the chicken cult like that would be you <laughs> and she was like i love that part i was like i know so yeah um mm, voted most likely funny. to join a cult yeah every day a cult or prison sounds better and better just saying um a cult coma or prison Take- cults Pick your poison. And prison. We should do, like, a whole episode on, like, our dreams. Like, our actual, like, genuine, like, I wish I was in a coma. I (laughs) wish I was in a cult. I wish I was in prison. Prison. But we have to find, like, the one from a horror movie we want to be in. Oh, yeah. Specific. Like, the cult. Obviously, I want to be in the Midsommar cult. Oh, yeah. Midsommar cult. We're doing it right now. We're doing the whole episode right now. Yeah, we're doing it. Midsommar cult, duh. Duh. I don't even know if there's another cult I want to be in. That one's the best one. That one's the best one. You you would be the queen. You you got the blonde hair. I would be the May the May queen. I would definitely make the bread. You would make maybe the, the bread. water. You the might juice. Be the period girl. The period juice. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a diva cup. <laughs> um, nothing's um, more humbling than explaining a diva cup to a man, which right. I had to do the other day. How did that go? And I was like, you have three children. And you don't know what a diva cup is? That's sad for you. <laughs> That's sad for you. That's sad for you. You I've don't know the options. A diva cup. You've never used them? It scares me. I love them. But tampon scared me. Yeah. Tampon scared me way more than a diva so cup. So it's just... Pick your poison. Again. Yeah. I just stopped using them because I don't have time to go boil it downstairs in my family's home. Yeah, that's a that would be a problem. Yeah. I'm afraid, like, well, what do you do when it overflows? It doesn't. You don't know my blood. <laughs> How you go to the bathroom often enough that it would never overflow. But isn't it filling with blood? Yeah. Well, what does me going in the, to the bathroom have to do with it? You can take it out and dump it. Yeah, but then well, how do I clean it? Rinse it off. But what if I'm like in a public bathroom? You don't have to dump it then. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just keep it in. Infomercial for the Diva Cup. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Buy it. I love it. You can get a big, big one. <laughs> get, you a, <laughs> get you a big old Diva Cup a- for your big old <laughs> vagina. <laughs> Search on Amazon XXL Diva Cups. <laughs> XXL Diva Cups. <laughs> <sighs> on that note. On that lovely note. I hope you'll join us next week for a new episode. About Diva Cups. About Diva Cups. All about Diva Cups. I wonder if that's what they did in Midsommar. They're like, girls, don't empty them today. We got to make some juice. (laughs) (laughs) This is I'm going to vomit. Getting that. Oh. Oh. That part was gross. I walked in the. 
I remember we watched it and you were like, like staring at me like this whole time. I was like, and I was like, what's that? Are they drinking wine? And you were like, <laughs> you were like, look no. at the hell. Look how it's a different yeah, color. Like, you see that? Yeah. You were like, what you is notice that? Did you remember earlier when he, uh, <laughs> When he ate a piece of pie and there was like some little weird hairs in it, a pubic hair in it. Do you remember that? There's a reason for that. Remember my, that? My. <laughs> my, 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 pie. <laughs> you did not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have, we have got to stop. <laughs> we have got to end this episode. Ew. Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs> Follow us on Instagram at slash the sleep pod. Or on TikTok at slash the sleep pod. Or email us and tell us what size diva cup you want. <laughs> Do you think I can use... Alyssa got me some chonk cats for, <laughs> for my birthday. I think they can use these as diva cups. <laughs> these chonk cats. You can, yeah. That's what you can use the little one for. The little one can be a chonk cat. Can be a diva cat. A G- diva chonk cat. Diva chonk cat. If they had a diva cat. A diva cat? <laughs> It was a diva cup, but it's shaped like a cat. But shaped like a cat. Yeah. It's ears is what you pull out. (laughs) Yeah. Or tail. Oh, yeah. That would be better. Probably the tail. Yeah. But but then the ears would be... Up. Ow. Maybe they would go out, though, and really stop it from coming down. Oh. But then how would you... Okay. You just got to squeeze it and unsuction. Right. Like that. That's what scares me. Okay. (laughs) We got to go. We got to (laughs) go. This is an after dark, an after show conversation. (laughs) Love you guys. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.